physics, we are obsessed with arrows. We have arrows going up, arrows going down, arrows going left, arrows going right, arrows going off at different angles, all sorts of different arrows that we can draw. And what we want to be able to do is we want to work with these arrows, but to do that, we need to remember that vectors, which these arrows represent, are a lot like Vegas, and that what happens in one direction stays in that direction. So x direction plays well with the x direction, y direction plays well with the y direction, but the x direction does not play well with the y direction, and the y direction does not play well with the x direction. So in order to break up vectors uh, so that we can actually do math with them and do some physics with them, we need to decompose them. So what does that actually mean and what does that look like? Here we draw a coordinate system. I've drawn X and a Y axis, and I'm gonna draw a vector A, kind of going up at this angle. Let's say that's A, uh, and we'll say that this angle is 20 degrees. And then I can draw another vector, a B vector. I'm gonna draw this going down. Uh, there's my B vector, and I'm gonna draw the angle. I'm gonna leave it general and say that the angle is theta relative to that Y axis. If I wanna decompose these vectors, that means that I need to start at the origin and imagine that I can try to walk over to this tip, but I can only walk horizontally or vertically. So I'm gonna start off with this one. I'm gonna walk entirely horizontally until I get right underneath that tip. And that gets me entirely in the X direction. And then I walk straight up, uh, straight uh, vertically until I get to the uh, tip of that vector. So I've just decomposed this vector. I have some piece AX and some piece AY. And now to figure out some mathematical equations for this, I'm gonna to need to do some trig functions. So I can write down the trig functions for this triangle that I've just created. I've got my sine of theta, uh, in this case, sine of 20, and that's gotta be equal to the opposite side, which we can see in this triangle as AY, divided by the hypotenuse, which is A. Now I wanna multiply both sides by A to get AY by itself. After all, I'm decomposing the vector, so I wanna figure out how much of it is going in the Y direction. So I cancel out my A's on one side, and I get A sine of 20 is equal to AY. I can do the same thing with cosine, cosine of 20. I now have the adjacent side, which in this triangle that I've drawn in blue, is gonna be AX. And I divide that by the hypotenuse, multiply both sides by A, a times cosine of 20 is equal to AX. And now I've decomposed my vector. I have how much is going in the Y and how much is going in the X. Other trig functions we could write for this triangle. I could write the tangent of 20, and that's going to be equal to the opposite side AY over AX. And the other useful one, I can write Pythagorean theorem. A squared equals AX squared plus AY squared. I can do these same processes with the B vector. So in the B triangle, I can start at some origin. And this time, I'm gonna imagine I go straight down. So I'm gonna go entirely vertically until I get right directly across from the tip of this vector. So that's gonna be my BY. And then I draw my line going entirely horizontally, and that's gonna give me my BX. So I've just decomposed my vector by drawing this right triangle and then I can write the trig functions for that right triangle. So I write the cos, uh, let's start with the sine. Sine of theta is gonna be the opposite side. In this triangle that I've drawn, the opposite side is bx divided by b. So b times sine of theta is equal to bx. I've decomposed the vector into its x component and cosine of theta is gonna be the adjacent side, which for this orange triangle is BY divided by B. Multiply both sides by B to get the BY by itself. And I find that BY decomposed is B cosine theta. So I've just decomposed these vectors. We should be good at this procedure. Uh, you're gonna use it a ton in physics. And just for completeness, we'll go ahead and write out the tangent of this uh, triangle, tangent of theta, opposite side is BX over adjacent side is by, and the Pythagorean theorem, b squared equals bx squared plus by squared. So that is how we decompose a vector.